everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and as you can see, I have a really good haul from Dollar Tree today. I try to visit Dollar Tree at least once a week, maybe every couple weeks, just to see what is new. I try to do a couple of Dollar Tree meals per month, and I'm trying to make it a little bit interesting. So by buying new things, I can hopefully make new meals for you. And when I went this last time, I was not disappointed by what I found. I have like three meals worth of things to try for you, and I'm super excited. So I didn't get any clips of me at the store, but I do have everything that I bought right in front of me. So I'm going to show you all the different things I bought, my ideas for them, and then we'll go ahead and start cooking them. I'm going to start with the one simple thing that I bought which is this Quaker S'mores oatmeal. Now I know it's not completely interesting, but I know that Dollar Tree sometimes gets in items from grocery stores that are maybe out of season. And s'mores, I, I guess, is out of season. It's usually a summer food. So they had plenty of these. And I like chocolate. I'm a big fan of s'mores and graham crackers. So I bought a box of this oatmeal just for us to try. There are six packets in here and six packets for a dollar that is not bad at all next up my second meal i was pretty excited to see this i found well this one i think i have seen before this is bisquick mix and you can use this to make pancakes but there is also a recipe on the back for drop biscuits and what's cool about this is that it does not need any eggs or milk at least for the biscuit part it says here that you need one third cup plus one tablespoon of either milk or water. So if you don't have milk, you can easily use water. But biscuits by themselves, I wasn't, you know, it doesn't make a full meal. But the one new thing I did find, oh my gosh, Pioneer um, Country Sausage Flavored Gravy Mix. Yes, I am making Dollar Tree biscuits and gravy. And I know that I try to promote a lot of healthier foods here on this channel, but sometimes, you know, you have to indulge. I grew up on biscuits and gravy. I am fairly Southern and ate this probably just about every single weekend. So I'm excited to try this out. And we're gonna be talking about balance again here with this next meal. Part of me wanted to make this meal because of this nacho cheese sauce. This is not very new at Dollar Tree. I have seen it like every so often, but when you do see it, you might want to grab it fast because it may not be there next time. And Allison went to church probably a couple months ago and they had nachos that night and she loved the nacho cheese and she loved the tortilla chips. And I figured she would actually eat this. Now, I also found this package of refried beans. Now I know you can buy a can of refried beans as well, but this looked interesting and something that I wanted to try. And it's got simple ingredients. It just says water, pinto beans, canola oil, onion, salt. That is it. So you can easily microwave this packet of refried beans. They also had these packages of organic brown rice. And I know it is cheaper to buy them dried in the big bags, but this is good for if you are only serving like one or two people, you just microwave this bag and you have enough for this meal. So the cheese in itself, I mean, some people can maybe claim that it's unhealthy. I always preach a balanced lifestyle. So you've got the nacho cheese, but you also have plenty of protein and fiber from the refried beans and the brown rice. And then you can't have nachos without tortilla chips. They always have these tortilla chips here. So I just got one of these. Now I'm gonna be cooking these three meals to show you, give you my opinions, whether I would recommend, whether I would try them again, that sort of thing. So what do you say we get started? So to start, I thought I would make the biscuits and gravy. I am super excited about this, by the way. So like, this is a small batch. You guys have to remember that. So this is only going to make, I believe it says six, yeah, six biscuits here. And then the gravy mix, okay, it technically serves eight, but it's not going to serve eight today. So yes, you could probably get more for your money if you made everything yourself. 
However, if you are just feeding yourself or a couple of people and you don't want a whole lot of food, like this would be perfect. So I have to preheat the oven first for these and then we'll get started. All right, the oven is preheating to 450. And I decided I'm going to mix this with milk instead of water because I kind of want maybe like a, I don't know what we would call it, a creamier biscuit, <laughs> a better textured biscuit. I don't know. But I need to add a third cup and then a tablespoon of milk and then we can mix that together and then they're drop biscuits so you literally just like take a spoon and you drop them onto the baking sheet. Okay, it says it makes four or six biscuits, but I kind of accidentally made four, which is totally fine with me. I may need to just watch them and maybe bake them for a little bit longer. All right, let's take a look at the gravy. I've never made a country style gravy from a packet before. So here's a closer look. This is the Pioneer brand country sausage flavor gravy mix. Makes about two cups, it says. And then it actually gives a recipe for a skillet breakfast casserole, which sounds really good. But according to the directions, I have to boil one and a half cups of water, and then I have to mix the gravy packet with half a cup of cold water. I have to whisk it, and then I pour that into the boiling water, stir it, and then remove. So that sounds like it's only gonna take about five minutes or so. This sounds awesome, let's give it a try. While I'm waiting for the gravy or the water to heat up, I may as well start the gravy, see what it looks like, and then that way it'll be ready to add in. All right, have any of you used this brand before or any kind of like country gravy packets? If so, let me know what you think of them. It smells really good so far, actually. Oh my gosh, it was seriously that easy. I pour it in and mix it up until it gets thick and it has thickened. Oh my gosh, seriously, this took me like five minutes. I just put the biscuits in the oven too. So we'll have to probably let this set aside for a little bit and then the biscuits should be ready soon. Okay, these look amazing. I just checked the bottom of these and they are nice and brown, so these are completely done. It took about eight minutes at 4.50 for them to finish. So why don't we try one of these for ourselves? So here's something embarrassing. The clip of me trying the biscuits and gravy had no audio. But let me tell you, this was really, really good. The gravy was very peppery. It tasted a lot like homemade gravy, so I totally recommend buying one of those packets. This next meal is the nachos. And this is a very simple nacho dinner. You can obviously use some of your own ingredients, whatever your favorites are. So I really didn't have to cook. Everything was done in the microwave. Uh, both of these packages of the rice and beans, you just had to kind of squeeze it a little bit, break it apart, open it up a little bit and microwave it for a minute, minute and a half, whatever it says to do. Same with the cheese. You could easily heat everything up on the stovetop as well. There's also stovetop instructions. But when I finished microwaving everything, I stuck them into little containers like this. That way it would be easy to scoop out onto the nachos. The one thing I did not like about these refried beans was that it did not stand up very well in the microwave. They're a lot softer than the rice was, so it just didn't, it didn't stick up very well. So other topping ideas, you could add any of your favorite meat, like ground turkey, even some chicken. You could add any other favorite toppings like sour cream, 
or some vegetables like lettuce or tomato, cheese, guacamole, any of your favorites. Um, obviously Dollar Tree does not have many of that, but I did use some jalapenos on mine and yeah, spiciness. Anyway, these nachos were delicious. Allison loved the cheese and the tortilla chips, didn't eat any of the other stuff. But this is actually a really simple and cheap meal if you're looking to serve just a couple of people. Now, this last meal is just the breakfast. This oatmeal here, you can find it at the store as well. Um, it's just a regular packet of oatmeal. This only has like six grams of added sugar, which really is not bad for instant oatmeal. But you open the packet and pour it into the bowl, and then you would add either a half cup of milk or water, just depending on how creamy you want it. What I love about this is that it has tiny little marshmallows. Once you cook it in the microwave, the marshmallows kind of melt into it. You can't see it anymore. But once you pour the water or milk in it, you stir it up, and that's when you see like the chocolate. When you first pour it in, it's like, where's all the chocolate? But then as you can see, it starts turning brown, like, okay, <laughs> there's the chocolate. And you start out with a half cup of liquid, you microwave it, and then if it is not um, thin enough for you, you can always add more. So as you can see, a half cup makes it a little bit thicker. Serving ideas, you could add some uh, fruit on top of it, like sliced bananas, diced apples, maybe some berries. To get some protein, you could add e or eggs on the side, sausage, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. I would definitely not eat this just by itself. I would add some sort of a protein with it, but this was delicious. So what did you think? Obviously your mileage may vary depending on what kind of items your store has. And if your store has now started selling items for $1.25, let me know. Mine has not yet, but I've heard of many stores that have already gone to that. Now with any of these meals, obviously use your discretion as to whether you need more food added to it, if you need to add less, if you need to change things around, it's all up to you. I'm just here to give you some ideas. If you have any other ideas on what you'd like to see me do as far as Dollar Tree meals go, let me know. I try to go every week or so and look for new ideas. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so right now and like this video and ring that bell so you'll be notified when more of those videos come out as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.